Hi everyone, I'm Noreen and welcome to my kitchen. Today we have a ghoulish treat for Halloween. I think all children, young and old, are going to love these mummy dogs. We're going to be making these in the air fryer to make things super fast and easy and I think you're going to love them. So let's go see how these mummy dogs all come together. Today we're going to be making something fun for Halloween. This might be something if you have uh, younger kids, it might be a lot of fun to choose to do for Halloween night dinner before trick-or-treating commences. So we're going to be making mummy dogs and these are super fast. We're going to make them in our air fryer. This is our Power Air Fryer XL. We're going to be making them in here tonight and you can, I'm going to do four for you today. I may do four off camera and we'll see what they look like all together. It'll be really cute. We're going to wrap these in crescent roll dough and make them up to look like mummies. We're going to give them mustard eyes and a bloody head wound. So isn't that fun for Halloween? Who wouldn't love that? So really this is super simple. I have some kosher hot dogs and one tube of the regular sized crescent roll dough. And what I've done is I've unrolled it and you can see that I did not separate the triangles. In fact, I pinched them together. And over here, I just took my knife and I, I just cut down strips so we can wrap them around the hot dogs. It's just gonna be super simple. And this is another fun way to get your kids involved. Um, you can invite them into the kitchen because you know sometimes little kids get really excited because it's Halloween and this gives them something to help calm them down because you're gonna give them a task to do. Um, you know, because all they wanna do is put on that costume and go get candy. So this may be a fun way to get them a little more calm down before dinner time rolls around. If they have a role in making the dinner, they're gonna eat the dinner. So, you're gonna take your hot dog and I'm just gonna grab a paper towel because what you wanna do is you wanna dry it off. You don't want a whole lot of residual moisture on there. And then you're just gonna start from the bottom and then you're just gonna kinda wrap it you can crisscross it and wrap it. There is no wrong way to do this, but I do feel like you should start at the back so that your seam is like back there, if at all possible. But again, it's gonna be all covered up. See, like this one fell apart, but it's all good. Just get it on there. The mummy was not perfect, so he was just all bandaged up haphazardly. Now when you get up here, what you want to do is you just want to leave a little bit of space there for his eyes. Just like that. Boom. I'm just gonna set this in the air fryer just like that. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna wrap the rest of them and I'll be back before we start this up. All right, our mummy dogs are all wrapped and ready to go in the air fryer. And the one thing I will say is you kinda wanna make sure that they're not touching. So you want a little bit of space in between it. I know this vessel isn't super big. You can do four mummy dogs at once. So if you wanna do a whole package of hot dogs, you're gonna need one roll of crescent roll dough and eight hot dogs. So a package of hot dogs, unless they're Hebrew national, which only comes with seven in a package. Please don't ask me why. I don't know the answer to that mystery. So we're gonna close the drawer and then we're going to set this for 310 degrees for eight minutes. Then we'll come back and we'll show you what they look like. Now I was also gonna mention that if you don't wanna use crescent roll dough, you can use puff pastry dough. And if you use puff pastry dough, you'll wanna set that for 12 minutes because that's gonna take a little longer to cook. If you don't have an air fryer, you certainly can make these in your oven. And you're gonna wanna put those in the oven 
at 350 degrees for about 15 to 18 minutes or until the crescent roll dough is cooked. Who doesn't like, um, you know, a crescent dog. I grew up with them. I think they're fantastic. And every now and then it's a lovely treat. And I think your kids are going to like this. So we're going to be back when these come out. All right, these are all done and ready to plate up. And now we're going to go have some fun and make our mommies look distressed and wicked. So I'll be right back. Well, there you have it, our mummy dogs. I went ahead and I gave them some ghoulish mustard yellow eyes and I made them bleed from their brains because, you know, mummies. So we've got some ketchup and some mustard. You can do yours up any way you want. I've actually seen some that call for those little candy eyes, but are your kids not going to get enough candy on Halloween? I don't think you need to start them off with candy eyes on their hot dog. I personally would not do that, but that's just me. These are super fast and easy, and I think your kids are going to have a lot of fun even helping you make them before they get to dress up in their costume and go out and get all their booty. So, I think these are cute, and they smell really good, mm -hmm. and they really harken back to my childhood. You know, when I was a kid, Pillsbury used to make hot dog wraps in a tube like they make the crescent rolls and the biscuits. They stopped making those like in the mid 80s and um, they used to come in different flavors. They used to come like in plain and they had cheese ones and they had, I think they had four flavors. My mom bought them a couple of times and they were fun but you know sometimes even now I will make crescent dogs in the oven like in the middle of winter. It's just fun. It's something different than just having hot dogs for dinner and then you pair that with salad and macaroni and cheese and it's a lot of fun. You can make um, a really quick mac and cheese that has sliced green olives in it that look like eyeballs and that would be a fun thing to put on the table for your kids for Halloween dinner. So I hope that you give these a try and I think they're just a lot of fun. If you like today's video, please consider giving me a thumbs up. I would love to thank you for joining me today. If you are new to my kitchen, welcome. It's always a pleasure to invite new friends in and make new friends all year long. Please consider hitting that subscribe button. And if you are already a tried and true member of the Noreen's Kitchen family, please remember to hit the bell notification button because we don't want any of you to miss out on all the real food for real people, real easy recipes that we present all the time right here on our YouTube channel and straight from our kitchen. I hope you give mummy dogs a try for Halloween dinner or anytime. I'm not going to tell. And I hope you love them. And until next time, I'll see ya.